Hello, my friends. Welcome back to a weekly Wednesday. And boy, this Wednesday is a good one as we have a new single from Villain of the Story. I've been waiting since the last single, Better. And I think they may have done, I don't know if Better came before the Linkin Park cover. I don't know. I would have to look up Spotify. I think it did. But anyway, Better is their last single. Linkin Park cover was a cover. So. Whatever came first, the egg or the chicken, I don't know. But with that, they released, they have a new song called Decade, which obviously, my nose that you, sorry. Obviously, they've been making music for a decade, which surprises me. I did not know that at all. I know they've been making music since, because I think Wrapped in Thorns came out 2018, I think. Or 16, and then Ashes came out in 2018. I don't know. I could, I have my phone right here. I could check, but semi-lazy. Semi-prepared, but semi-lazy. You know, it kind of counteracts, but it works out. But with that, let's get swapped over. I want to check out this new single called Decade. I'm excited. You wouldn't be here if you're excited. But watch the actual, like, video on their site, on their channel, I should say. They probably have the video on their site, too. But needless to say, it's, it's going to lead you here. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining, and let's get into Villain of the Stories' new single, Decade. Story, a new single coming out soon. It's called The Holy One. We don't have a release date yet, but oh, obviously it's going to so be different. Because Logan has a beard. I think Christian cut his hair. I've, hair. I've had hair that long. It's been a long time. I've given oh, all no, I've got inside This nice. can't be healthy, I'm running on empty What about my peace of mind? I'm mentally exhausted And it feels like my words have been salted It's crazy that I wanted this Never thought that it would come to this Don't give up, don't give up That's what I tell myself I like the song so far. Nice rhythm.
I like the vibe. I like the rhythm. It flows very well. It's definitely one of the more rock focused songs. Better was that way too. Better was softer. Nice. Still 20. What's happening? something you say to friends <laughs> <laughs> nice great stopping point wonderful anyway yeah that's that's something i'll always have appreciation about when bands show that they actually really get along with each other there's always going to be times it's like family right there's always going to be times that you disagree there's always going to be times that there's going to be like this weird conflict that you have to figure out depending on what everyone's going through but I always love it when bands show that they're like happy to be around each other, happy to like do things together and just be in each other's presence and like just have as much fun and just be themselves. But with that, for the song, great song, more of a rock song. And if for those of you who know me, it's like I tend to lean towards more of the post hardcore kind of screaming scene. But no, like I have appreciation for this for sure. Like rock was my roots. It's like I grew up listening to God. Uh, Mm, there's so many bands, but like Breaking Benjamin, stuff like that, like Shine Down, early Shine Down, early Seether, like like those are bands I grew up listening to. And then it was Breaking Benjamin, one of those were one of the bands where it's like Benjamin would do his more lower screams or lower growls, and then do that, and then Bullet from My Valentine definitely has some screams in it, screams in it from my, Matt, and so it's like there were bands like that that kind of had me just like inch slowly and just move that way until I had a couple of friends introduce me to like dance, Gavin dance old. Like this was like, Oh, Oh six, Oh seven, 2007, 2008, where it's like old Al Alasana, old Chiodos, old dance, Gavin dance, like those type of bands. And I was like, all right. And from that moment, I kind of just jumped in, but yeah, but nevertheless, really good song. Like vibes. Well, it's a song that, I definitely could play like at a party and I know everyone will like and vibe to it's not like heavy screaming. And so I'm in a mixed group friend group. So it's like some of my, not the lesser half of my friends like this type of music. And then the more half likes more of the mainstream type music, but no, I'm happy for a very fun song a song. I can definitely play and have fun to listen to and enjoy. And it's definitely like more of a warm up song for like exercising Cause I, I want that, I want that higher BPN. Like I gotta go when I'm hauling it. I gotta go, but like, no, super fun. I'm not surprised by the rock part, but they have a vibe for it and they have a feel for it and they do very well. Obviously they made like three Nickelback covers, <laughs> which I, I love that they, it was three Nickelback covers. <laughs> Cause like, unfortunately Nickelback gets a lot of hate. I don't really know why, but they made some really good socks. <laughs> have really like high rated single especially the three that they covered like animals and photograph i think yeah i haven't listened to nickelback in a really long time <laughs> but nevertheless i was really surprised to see uh that divided was their most successful album i was really surprised like i'm happy like obviously you don't want to just make an album that's more successful than your other your later albums but I was really happy for them, and I am really excited about that. Uh, I always thought Wrapped in Thorns was that album, but happy to see that it is not. Uh, but because Wrapped in Thorns is my favorite, that album is my favorite album. GMC, uh, Dragon something. Oh, I just listened to it the other day. Ah, grow. There's so many songs on this album that's really fun and just great, and I enjoy it. I hate that I'm like getting of songs. I really hate that. It's always always on video. It's always on video. It's like and nothing. <laughs> but with that, yeah, that that that's more of my feel. Uh, so far, like I would place divided probably two, but it's tied. Like I can't decide between. As of right now, I would have to re-listen to all of divide, and I would have to re-listen to all of ashes. Because as of right now, I don't know. Like I would ashes and divide are number two. Wrapped in thorns is my number one from these guys. But nevertheless. 
I'm going to move towards the ending because I could keep this going for as long as possible. Because especially for a band that I actually like and very much favor to and have that bias towards, um, I love their music. I'm always going to love their music. I have appreciation for this band because they kind of show that they just make stuff that's fun, but they're not afraid of feedback, which is really cool. But also just to put out stuff like, to be like that takes a lot of courage to show out like weak spots, like anxiety. Some people don't like exposing themselves and well, not in that way, but exposing like weakness and stuff like that. But there's, there's growing potential in that, like where you just are better because you've kind of talked about it, but no, that sucks to have anxiety attacks. I, I don't know a lot about that. I struggle with just some anxiety, but not a lot. And then, Obviously, the blowing out voice part, yeah. Being a vocalist, I don't know a whole lot, especially if you do Warp Tour. Warp Tour, many bands have spoken about it, is just treacherous. Because it's just every day, in and out, in and out, you're driving, oh God, like everywhere. And it's so just, uh, like I could not imagine. Like I've traveled a lot in my life, but that's not just traveling. That is like, grinding for sure but to do all of warp tour is crazy and i wouldn't be surprised if you blow out your voice once or twice i wouldn't be surprised if you got sick once or twice especially summertime like warp tour happened in the summer it's hot as balls dude <laughs> but no and but everyone uh, a couple other voc- vocalists have talked about it where it's like you're just overhyped for that first concert and so you just go out and just like hit it hard and then you then it just sucks but no, like as a vocalist, like and when I'm singing and stuff like that, like breath management is probably my number one, but like warming up is probably number one. Warm up and breath management are probably the two things as a vocalist you should work on because if you don't work on breath management, you're going to pass out. I've done that. <laughs> I've almost done it. Actually, I haven't like fully passed out. But yeah, if you don't work on breath management, you will pass out. And then warm up obviously just makes you lose your voice a lot faster. So with that, thank you guys for joining me on this weekly Wednesday. Let me know your favorite song. Well, the first off, before just skipping over the fact we listened to a new single, let me know what you guys think of the new single from Villain of the Story, Decade. It is a good one, and I hope you guys rock it. And as always, yeah, let me know what your favorite song and album from Villain of the Story. My favorite is Wrapped in Thorns. My favorite song is probably, I don't know. I don't know my favorite song. My favorite song probably, it's like either... Which is funny because it doesn't come off wrapped in thorns. Bro is a really good song. I really, really, really like because I can relate with it a lot. Um, Divided is another one. Yeah, there's a couple of songs that I could pick out like right out the gate where I'm like, yes. So like Divided, Grow, Enough, Stuck. Um, Peace of Mind. Better. Like, there's a lot of good songs that, or like Breathe is another one where it's like, there's a lot of good songs that I totally relate with. And that's kind of more my vibe is like what my favorite is that, like, I would have to do a different ranking outside of like my own personal stuff of what I vibe with more. But yeah, no, there's a lot. But no, nevertheless, I could ramble about that. Let me, let's, let me know what your favorite song and album of Vanilla the Story is. As always, go support your bands, buy the merch, share the music. Anywhere and everywhere. Let Spotify, play your Spotify overnight. Like everything, just put it on mute and rack up those listens. Recommend to just, just fall asleep to it. That's better. So you're not, you're actually listening to the song. <laughs> but if support your bands, support your favorite bands and do these things. Got to get them out there. But nevertheless, have a great Wednesday. As always, thank you guys so much for watching any amount of video. If you made it this far, I always appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and be safe. See ya.